2022, as was 2021, has been what you might call a pretty hectic year as far as security issues impacting Google's Chrome web browser are concerned. Although perhaps more accurately, um, as far as security issues that impact those browsers, um, it's those browsers that are powered by the Chromium engine under the hood. So that includes Microsoft Edge, Brave, um, to name but two of the more popular ones. So as well as the standard fare of security updates addressing a handful of vulnerabilities in a, a sort of patch Tuesday-like fix, there've been a bunch of emergency security updates fixing zero day, which is why you should always update your browser as soon as possible when a patch is made available. Davey, I've been seeing absolutely loads of uh, Chrome security updates recently. It feels like there's one a week, maybe two a week in some cases. So what needs to happen if you see that a Chrome update is available? I mean, can you leave it a week since there are so many? Can you update to the next version anyway? Or is it really important that you have to update now? Well, here's the thing. Um, Chromium browsers will automatically update when a patch is rolled out. But So you might think, oh, that's brilliant. I don't need to do anything. But there are a couple of caveats. So and need mean that you can't just simply sit back and let the browsers take care of things without any intervention. First, that rollout will likely be stayed. So Google always says that it will be made across the coming days and weeks when disclosing security vulnerabilities and zero days in particular. Um, so you won't automatically get that automatic update immediately. And then even if you do get that update rolled out to you and it's automatically downloaded and installed, it will not activate unless you um, restart the browser itself. And that means if you don't restart the browser, if you just keep your browser open all the time between sessions, um, you won't be protected from these vulnerabilities, which is why Straight Talking Cyber across the board always says that you should kickstart the update process as soon as you're made aware of it. Um, reading our articles, of course, is a good way of keeping informed. Um, but I can also tell you now um, what you need to do for those three main Chromium browsers. So Google Chrome, head for the help about option in the Chrome menu. Um, your update will now kickstart. If there's an update available, it will automatically go and get it and download it. Um, again, once it's done that, you'll get a little uh, message pop up saying you need to restart your browser. Do that immediately. Microsoft Edge, you need the three dot menu on the top right and you're looking at help and feedback and then about Microsoft Edge, and that does the same. For Brave, it's the burger menu, the three stripe menu on the top right, and you want about Brave, and that will check if you're up to date and start downloading any patches. But to emphasize, whatever browser client you're using, any Chromium client at all, remember to restart the application as you won't be protected from known threats until the time that you do. How quickly do the Chromium updates come out after the Chrome update has emerged? It varies, I think is the polite way of saying it. Um, in my experience, I tend to use Brave as my primary browser, Chromium browser these days. And I've found that um, Brave will tend to update the day after um, Google has uh, disclosed the zero day, for example. Edge, um, can be anything between 24, 48, 72 hours even before their updates are made available. Um, the reasons for this, don't know. Um, I'd like to see perhaps more synchronization, especially for zero days when Google knows there's a zero day, perhaps some cooperation between um, Google, Microsoft, um, Brave developers, Vivaldi, et cetera, so that the um, updates could all roll out um, together simultaneously. I mean, that from the security perspective, that would be the best thing because then you're not leaving an exploit window open on any browser. I think it's worth, there's, there's, a, there's a, clearly been a lot of talk about um, Chrome issues in particular um, in, in recent months. Um, it's worth just explaining, you know, the language that people are looking at. So, so when Chrome is patching vulnerabilities, what that means versus if they're patching an exploit, what that means. And you know the things that should should give users most real concern. Absolutely. So um, a vulnerability is a hole 
in the code, a, a flaw in the underlying code of a product um, that means somebody could exploit that flaw um, for nefarious purposes, um, get access, get data, um, get control, etc. As I've just said, um, they could exploit it. So the exploit is the act of actually using that vulnerability for those nefarious purposes. Then we have zero days. Um, now these are vulnerabilities that are already being exploited by threat actors before any patch has been made available. So usually before the, the vendor even knows about that vulnerability existing, um, there's a threat actor out there who's already created an exploit, which again is why you should always update um, your browsers, Chrome, Edge, Brave, Vivaldi, Opera, whatever, as soon as a patch is available. And, it, and it's worth adding, isn't it, that attacks often combine multiple exploits. So the issue with browsers, and, and I know a lot of people will question why that's an issue, it's clearly a gateway onto your device. If you can find a vulnerability that you can exploit in a browser, it potentially allows you to get onto the device and do other things, and there other vulnerabilities may come into play. So we've seen increasing amounts of that combination of different vulnerabilities to create an actual attack vector, if you like. Absolutely. Um, Multi-step attacks are, are fairly common, um, especially if, for example, the, yeah, um, one of the vulnerabilities um, will give you control of a, a, a system, but only if you've already got um, local user privileges. So you'll then have to employ a different exploit to first get that local access privilege that can then be escalated up to an administrator. Mm -hmm.